All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to feature something special and vintage. So the purpose of this video is to introduce you to mechanical servants. These are vintage toys and novelties you would get out of vending machines at rest stops on the highway in the 70s and 80s. So I want to unbox these individually uh, I'll we'll take them out of the box, we'll look at them, briefly discuss them, and at the end of the video you'll have a little bit better idea of uh, these great vintage little toys and knickknacks by Mechanical Servants of Hong Kong. There's not a lot of information about this company. Uh, there's a few articles I found online talking about how these were sold in New Jersey truck stops and rest stops on the turnpike and that's where probably where i re recall these my personal experience of these i i received one of the i bought one of these uh probably in new jersey at a rest stop on the turnpike when i was probably about five or six which is around 1986 or 1985 mid 80s uh, we would often drive from cleveland to new jersey to visit the family so it would make sense that it was in New Jersey on the turnpike. So anyhow, I, there's very little information I, I've seen about these online. If you know more than I do, please you know drop a comment um, or a link. These are fun. So they're they're uh, a good collectible. So those of you who want to start collecting vintage toys that are in the box, like original packaging, but don't want to spend a lot of money or don't have a big budget, these are ideal. These, each one of these are under, except for one, each of these are under, I think, $14. So, I mean, you could buy one for, you know, like maybe $8 plus four bucks shipping. So 12 bucks and it's yours. You got a vintage toy. You get two of them, you got a collection. So let's, t let's take a look. I'm going to save this one for last. This is like the big kahuna. So let's just open these up. Now I'll discuss these. So look at this. This is cool. <laughs> this is what you got. This is a little puzzle keychain of a toy car. It rolls. Now this is put together already. I believe this one has a little crack in it. But it would be like in a little baggie with a little instructions. Let me see if I have instructions. Oh yeah. This is what I'm talking about, folks. Look at this. Old timey goodness. Let's see what we got. I have my air conditioning on. Pardon that background noise. Some folks love it. Some folks hate it. But it's, it's hot. Late August heat. Look at that. Your little puzzle is number 3001 for those keeping score at home. Put together, made in Hong Kong, so you know it's good, folks. So this is your finished product. So I was the truck stop with my parents going to New Jersey when I was probably five or six, the mid-1980s. And these were sold in vending machines. The kind, I'll leave it out, the kind that you, um, you know, you, you would vend a, a snack from, you put the quarter in and you pull the, the lever and out comes your snack or your soft drink or whatever. Same idea with these. But the cool twist was the vending machine, they placed like a robot head. So that was the, that was the, 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 the bit, mechanical servant. It was like a robot servant there to give you these toys once you pop some quarters into it. So as a kid, it was awesome. I loved it. Um, I'm sure a lot of kids did because this is like pre Game Boy. This is pre video game, you know, handheld video game era. So imagine being bored as hell when you're, you know, five in a, on a road trip and then you, you go, go to a truck stop and you see like a toy store basically for, you know, a quarter or two. I forget, I mean, they, they probably want more than 50 cents. So that was a real lifesaver. Then you get this little knickknack and put it together and it, it entertain you, you know. Simpler times, folks, simpler times. Oh, what is this? I think I know. This is probably... So, yeah, this is another one. So how many kids probably lost these parts instantly upon opening these in the car? And they start crying. Poor kid. More instructions. This is 3,003. For those keeping score at home. This is like a dump truck. So you see what I mean? There's small parts. I'm sure kids lost those things left and right. Yikes. All right, keep it going. Keep these empty ones back here. Let's do one of these. Now, my original one that I vended, I, I vended a rubber toy 
uh, mouse. And this is very similar. This is a plastic mouse, probably the same box. I'll even say what it is. Oh, sweet. No, it's not. These are these are individual box for individual products. This is number 1473 Trick Mouse White. Double O for good luck. It's just a really basic toy, like a lead weight spool. And then you pop it in there and you pull it and it takes off and scares someone. The rubber mouse I have, which is somewhere around here, looks just like this. Um, and I remember as a kid being curious, like, they came in a box? Wow, a rubber mouse? And then it's here to serve you when you need them. This is, like, bizarre. Like all this, you know, all this, this text and, you know, quality product. The Mechanical Servants Incorporated, Chicago Illinois. Box, everything's got, like, a number. Box 2, was a 228B. Made in Taiwan. Summer Hong Kong, summer Taiwan. Leaving the mouse out of the house. There you go. This next one is really cool. This is a this one doesn't belong to me, but someone was cool enough to let me borrow it for the show. Thank you. I think this person re recently acquired this piece. This is awesome. This is a fan favorite. Plus the box. Look at this box. This is gorgeous. Hanging skeleton number seventeen oh three, made in Taiwan. So. Just to recap, those trucks, the little uh, keychains, these are made in Hong Kong. So it's Hong Kong and Taiwan. This is great. Look at this. I love this. I got to get one of these. Look at the face on that skeleton. Stylistic. This is late 70s, early 80s. This is like 75 through, you know, 80. I'm sure when I got mine, it could be left over, you know, in 85, 86. This is awesome. It'd stick to the window of your car. That was a thing back in the 70s and 80s, early 80s. Sticking things to your car windows. This is great. How cool is that? It's like a cheap plastic, but I like the stylistic skeleton. I like to see how different companies and eras take on the skull, the, you know, the design of it. Semi-realistic or cartoon-like or whatever. All right, that's the big kahuna. I got to say that one. What is this? Oh, this is awesome. I think I know what this is. Yes. Look at this. It's not a joint. It's a smoking monkey. Come on, folks. A smoking monkey. A genuine plastic smoking monkey. What kid wouldn't be delighted to have this? Hey, Dad, can I borrow your lighter in the back seat? Sure. Here you go. Light it up. Look at the smoking monkey. I don't think it does anything but just holds this joint looking rolled up piece of paper. What does it say? Box number 64F, as in Foxtrot, 1704. I love all these numbers and just like, just distributed by Mechanical Service Incorporated, Chicago, Illinois. Here to serve you when you need them. Quality product. I love it. It's so awesome. Just like consumerism, late 20th century. Does it say? Does it say smoke? Is there instructions? Nope. So it, I thought these were the instructions, but it's just additional light, you know, you could cut it in half and give the monkey more cigarettes. So that's it. I guess you, I don't know. There's like, you don't blow into it. There's no hole. It's just a, a figurine of a smoking monkey. What kid wouldn't be, I'm going to leave that out, be delighted. That's random. I love that. Smoking monkey. That's a quality product right there, folks. That Taiwan or Hong Kong. Let's see. Doesn't, doesn't say. Interesting. All right. Drum roll, please. This one cost. This is the most. This is this this one crosses over into the a different genre of collectibles. Actually, a few genres. This one I spent a little more, but it's worth it, and you'll see why. Made in Hong Kong. Number seventeen hundred. Shrunken head. In the original baggie. This thing. I would. This is what I would have picked. I picked that rubber mouse probably because they didn't have this. I'm sure this thing sold out. Look at this, it's got a bell. Look at this gruesome ghoul. Look at this. Look at this thing. I love this. Look at this. This is awesome. It's like decrepit head on a string with a bell to, to like add a little bit of delight. The bell, right? This would hang from like your rear view mirror in your car. Your rear view mirror in your car. Look at like this. 
synthetic it's like a like a nylon hair you got a green dot in the eyes this is awesome it's got that old school rubber smell you know about the size of a barbie head probably a little bit bigger i love this thing i think i spent 32 dollars for this because i had to have it 30 bucks and shipping was like really cheap i think three or four bucks look at this thing i love it you probably fit on your finger it's still really supple and squishy this is awesome i collect rubber toy jigglers and this is you know this is it but it's got the original box come on and this is hong kong i love it number 1700 shrunken head that's so cool i would have been delighted i'm delighted now as a grown man to have it let alone if i was a kid the mouse i had can i pull this out quickly on from the, i got my toy box i don't know i'm gonna do it there's too much stuff in there no, i can't do it it'd be ridiculous for me to attempt to pull this little rubber toy mouse uh, but anyhow so these are mechanical servant novelty toys that you would purchase as far as i know from rest areas truck stops along the new jersey turnpike throughout the mid late 70s and early to mid 1980s what are your memories of these what do you recall what am i missing leave a comment because a lot of the videos i create for various antique vintage ancient items i do because I, I can't find any other videos on them uh, on youtube or online so i'm trying to just i guess fill a void so let's make this fun and interactive share your uh, experience with these delightful collectible affordable vintage toys from mechanical servants here to serve you when you need them. Thanks for checking in.